Hey guys, it's Brie, and today I have still a somewhat long video. It's only about 20 minutes, I believe, so just strap in. Uh, feel free to paint with me. Um, today I've got some of the footage I got of my Pokemon challenge that I had started, and that's kind of what today's video's uh, chat is going to be based on, I guess. Um, I don't know where to begin besides the fact that I cannot emphasize taking care of your body before all else. <laughs> Um, especially right now, I have a uh, broken tooth, first of all, <laughs> so that might be an upcoming problem in my future, so that's awesome. Um, I'm still waiting on surgery, uh, date for my throat, which is aggravating. It's been a whole year since I started this journey, but it is what it is. Um, but mostly, uh, this is mostly kind of about my wrist. <laughs> um, I have double jointed wrists, I'm assuming, or something, which is why they kind of click to begin with, but I feel that makes me more susceptible to these entries I keep managing to get. Um, I guess kind of it dates back to my first, uh, I don't even know, I my really long job I had at Jersey Mike's basically. I used a meat slicer a lot and I used uh, chopping utensils for <laughs> cooking on the grill and it was a lot of wrist work and on top of that I also... Um, was kind of just painting alongside that all that work I guess basically I didn't take care of my wrists and for a long time I've been working uh, even after I left Jersey Mike's I was working uh, with a wrist brace a lot when uh, my wrist would start acting up so if I'd overwork it doing projects at home and also if it was busy at work up until then it was like crazy catering would make it worse all kinds of stuff basically um, so that kind of just leads into my wrist problems I'm having uh, continuously. I needed to rest my wrist for a while here. Um, I was also having stomach problems. Uh, I don't know if it was in relation to my PCOS or this throat issue I'm having, but it was just, or this kidney problem I might be having. Long story short, it's a lot of health issues um, just adding up. So I was taking a break. Um, because of this, I had started this whole project with the ambition of doing all originals uh, for the 151 like Pokemon lineup, and I still plan on doing that. Um, right now, it's on the back burner. I might take it digitally or um, just kind of try to finish it traditionally on the pieces I want. I don't know. I'll see how it uh, goes, basically. Um, I tried my best to record um, me laying down the foundation for this project, but... Once my wrist started aching with each, um, basically line art I was doing, it became uh, apparent that I really needed to stop. So, I took that as a sign. Um, I didn't stop drawing completely. I took to my bed, essentially, because uh, of my stomach problems and my wrist problems. I was laying down with heating pads. Like, I have the microwavable ones. I had one that straps around my waist, or it could go over my shoulders, and then I have another one that's like a cat. Um, that can drape over my shoulders or I can try to wrap it around my wrist sometimes if I want to do like heat therapy basically on it. So um, I've just been kind of doing that recently this past week. Uh, I think I got tired of kind of sitting around waiting for me to get better. My wrist is fine. It's still kind of, you know, clicking, but that's probably because I'm double jointed nonetheless. But I got back into doing traditional stuff. Didn't pick up the Pokemon one. I picked up I think it was after I'd gone to Jerry's Artorama around the corner that just opened not too long ago, and I got this skinny uh, canvas. I guess it was like a good long panel. I call them canvases, even though they're like they're not like stretched over a, a frame. Really, they're just kind of a panel of canvas, essentially. I don't know. Basically, if you see my TikToks, you'll see me working on it in there and on probably my YouTube videos. Um, but I made a haku because of the way the, the canvas was shaped, and I was like, man, I know I have a lot of other mini canvases. I should go ahead and maybe do some Ghibli fan art, because that's kind of what I was, I don't know, I was feeling, because we've been, I've just been rewatching it here and there, so. Um, that's kind of been my spark of inspiration lately. I've been doing a lot of uh, those paintings. I've got some set up I can color in later. I've got a Hal and Sophie one that's going to go on a 12 by 9 I'm working on actually as we speak. I'm going to transfer it uh, while I wait for these uh, films, all this stuff to upload basically. So 
I'm going to work on that while I wait for this upload to go up. I'm going to gesso these, uh, I think I've got one of these 2x2s or 3x3s. They're little tiny mini canvases. They're even smaller than 3x3s. They might be 2x2s. Um, so I've got a bunch of those, and I've got some a little bit larger. Those might be 3x3s, but I've got a bunch more mini canvases I just discovered that I need to gesso. Um, I had already gessoed a bunch the other night that I can sketch on while I do that. So just kind of this whole rotation of art, essentially. So once these uploads are done, I can also jump back on my iPad, um, because I do all of my editing for videos and stuff on my iPad, which is something I'd probably share. Uh, I might list as like a Patreon video I'm going to do upcoming, but so far for my Patreon videos, I think I have my first one that I've started filming for is just my behind the scenes for Mermaid and like all the in-depth stuff I'm doing for plans for the shop and for Patreon, so... Um, that's gonna be there May 1st when I open up my Patreon. I think that's gonna be the official date for Patreon, which will also lead me into opening my shop right before my birthday, probably. I know the month of May is when I want to initially open it, just so I can have an anniversary during my favorite month of drawing challenge. Like, I love Mermaid, it's my favorite. I also, it's my birthday month. Uh, my birthday is May 26th, so, uh, by the end of Mermaid, it's my birthday, I'm having fun. It's usually summer. Uh, even back home in Maine, it would be like the opening of my Nana's pool, so it's just, it's a good month for me, and I just enjoy um, celebrating this month anyway, so, and it's Mother's Day, since I'm a mom, it's, it's a holiday, I wish I could just nap all day, but I probably won't, <laughs> so yeah, I just, I don't know, um, I scanned that 3 by 9 of Haku that I did, and so I'm hoping to edit that when I'm done with this, which is something I did before I started doing this voiceover, I scanned, a bunch of my old artwork, um, even last year's May Mermaid then, and also my Peach Tobers for last year I scanned. So I will be editing those once I get my iPad back up and running after this goes up. Um, I'll probably do the thumbnail first for this video, and then I'll go into editing my old artwork to make it um, digitally accurate to what it looks like traditionally in to my eyes. So. Uh, also part of my Patreon uh, video behind the scenes, I will be showing my editing process, I guess, uh, for my uh, photos that I'm gonna record probably on my camera, and I'm gonna probably screen record uh, what I'm doing as best I can. So once I get through that, um, I will also delete the old footage I don't need anymore on here so I can make room for my Patreon stuff, export that, have that ready to be listed on the first. Um, get these mini canvases ready. I want the mini canvases to be a part of my shop opening. Um, just because I like making affordable originals for people, I want to have all these like minis. And also for my Patreon, I kind of want to take these little two by twos and I feel like I got them from the dollar store. And so if I apply my nice gesso to it, it should be able to take my really good paint and I can actually do something really fun on these. And I think all of my uh, like first come first serve kind of like patrons that come to my uh, my Patreon page next month, like when I open it, I think I'm gonna make a bunch of originals. I don't know if I should stick with the Studio Ghibli or make them custom to everybody. Maybe give uh, a theme and make general uh, paintings so they can choose from them. So like if I did Ghibli, I can do, uh, do you want Calcifer or Ponyo or you know, Totoro, like those kind of things. Maybe I could do cat buses, you know. Uh, maybe I can pre-paint them or paint them live on TikTok. I want to test out Twitch this Sunday, so that's kind of uh, part of the video I'm actually filming for you guys here on YouTube is um, just a normal vlog that will probably go up either tomorrow or Saturday morning so people still know I'm going to go live on TikTok Sunday because I don't have Rosie because we, uh, we have a going away party event to go to Saturday, so Rosie will be with her grandparents. I think she's going to fun stuff on Saturday. I think there's a festival somewhere nearby. Uh, they're gonna go to so while she does that I'm gonna go do the going away party stuff for my best friend and um, what is it Sunday <laughs> it was recovery day but it's also um, a day I don't have Rosie I can sit there and test out streaming there and I think I'm also gonna try twitch out so I can start to edit my um, bio down below with all of my I always link all of the stuff down below for all of my other social medias and stuff. I can put Twitch down there from now on. So I can test out, usually Sundays Rosie isn't with me, uh, since I work Monday, Tuesday, I can take those extra hours here and there and test out streaming so I can do some of those like originals live for my patrons. I think that would be fun. 
So that's an option. I might check out the dollar store. I think tomorrow, what's today? Thursday? Friday, I will be out and about because we have a going away party retirement thing for our coworker in the morning. So I will be out and about, so I could go do that. Um, since I just scanned all of my old artwork, I also am going to make some TikToks to just kind of show like art I've already made. You know, just in case people haven't seen it before kind of thing. Um, I rediscovered where my, I put my Rapunzel that I put so much effort into. Um, she was flattening inside of a very large stack of Canson watercolor paper. It's like a big old um, block of paper and I put her somewhere in between there to flatten in one of my drawers. So, found her, scanned her, um, would love to make prints of her. Might edit it and even try to print it from home. Um, I don't really... I haven't really tested out this Canon, uh, what is it, MX492 is what I have. Uh, I haven't really tested out printing colorful uh, things. I, I don't know, I'm really nervous about trying to do prints at home instead of just straight up ordering it and vice versa. Like, I kind of don't want to order stuff, but I need to decorate um, some thank you card ideas that I've made. Um, there's a strawberry one I want to make that I want to test out prints. Maybe I'll just get free prints and do like photo printouts of that and do matte prints of that. I know it sounds all chaotic, um, but I promise in my brain it makes sense. <laughs> so uh, I might go through my planner uh, for my vlog too. Uh, just a quick glimpse of what I'm setting up for Mermaid. But most of my like behind the scenes stuff, like my more personal in-depth stuff will be specifically for Patreon just because I like to keep my regular YouTube like here. Kind of just, uh, I like to review products and stuff here too so when uh, I go out uh, I will vlog probably when I go out for art supplies now and most of it will be thanks to my patreons my patrons of patreon if that happens um, so have big plans for that I'll probably do an intro video that will come out the first that I need to create um, I have my goals and stuff already listed uh, on a piece of paper that I I kind of transcribed into an illustration, kind of like a, here's my goals, here's also the tiers and what I plan on doing for those tiers, so I think an intro video that could be shared here and on Patreon would be good, just so I can get it out there. I'll probably make TikToks for it. Uh, I'm still kind of not sure about how to make reels. Uh, it, not that I haven't really tried, I really didn't dip my toe into it, I've just been making TikToks lately, so. Yeah, that's basically really it. Um, I'm going to... I kind of want to seal this Haku. Uh, if I do sell him, which I'm hesitant to, but if I do, I would like him to be sealed and signed and ready to go. So once I start uh, gessoing more Ghibli panels, ready to go kind of thing, I will start doing that essentially. I want to color them in, but I kind of want to save the coloring for like tonight when Rosie goes to bed officially and I won't be bothered with the layers of paint I'll be putting down, so. Um, and it's like easier to film. I found a good, uh, what's I call it? Arm, my little kind of adjustment arm that you guys kind of are attached to right now. I've got my little microphone clipped to where my phone usually goes, but I think a, th a good distance away is where my microphone should be from now on. But yeah, I'm just kind of, gearing up to do it. I'm just gonna jump in. I need to officially get my P.O. box set up and ready to go so I actually have an address to ship from. <laughs> so I can also print labels. Um, there's some Shell Silverstein stamps I want to order for um, since my sticker club and my print club people will be like my snail mail uh, kind of thing. I will be uh, shipping with stamps. So I need to figure out some shipping issues that people have been having recently. I think Australia has been having some some issues. I don't know. I need to research where I can ship to right now before I open any of that uh, to know if I can do international or not. So it's kind of just all a bunch of studying really. Um, I added more f uh, social media tracker filler to my planner that I use. My uh, what is it? The Happy Planner, I think, I got from Walmart. I think I was just talking to a friend about it on, uh, whatchamacallit, Instagram, actually. Uh, it's, oh, it's my Darling You Were Born to Shine covered one. Uh, it's my Happy Planner, and I absolutely love it. I found one of my folder inserts, actually, that I can use. Um, I've got an expense tracker that I pulled a sheet from, so I can see, um, I'm gonna kind of track 
my spending a little bit better so I can, you know, get a little bit better at that. So I'm going to fill out the month of May in here and kind of just get a plan going for Mermaid. I know I was going to talk to Kayla about prompts and I don't know when she's posting it to her Discord, but yeah. Oh, also these, this right here that I'm showing you on my Procreate is what I was doing for Easter at the time. I was going to do an Easter illustration and I don't think we ended up doing anything by the time Easter ended because Rosie went with her grandparents. So after I got home, I was sketching this and I kind of just like lost motivation, but I liked the idea of it. It was going to be, um, Part of my team from that illustration I made of my Pokemon team for Kayla's uh, Discord actually and I was gonna put Hoppy Easter and they were just gonna have a bunch of like cute Pokemon eggs surrounding them but uh, I kind of stopped and I might erase the basket and put the rest of my team together and just kind of make a little cute little illustration so we'll see how that goes but for the most part it was just like I don't know I lost <laughs> I lost the the steam behind the, the illustration, so it just, it didn't end up working out, so. Um, I, I had good intentions. <laughs> I do enjoy how it started to come out, at least. But, um, it, I think it was because I was gonna fully open my Patreon in April, but with my stomach problems and whatever's going on with my throat, it just, I was not feeling it, so I was like, I'm not gonna put like 50% of me into something. I want to put my 100% and that's what Mermaid is going to be for me. So <laughs> upcoming after these Ghibli paintings is Mermaid. I also have Zuko on my desk that I need to paint. I found the audio clip I want to use for him so I need to bust out my camera, transfer my footage over after I get this Pokemon footage that you guys are seeing off my uh, iPad. I have room for it, I just, when it comes to editing uh, stuff on my iPad, when I try to export it, if it's a large video file, like some of my videos as you know are, like the ones that are close to 40 minutes, almost an hour, uh, sometimes it stops at the end, it's like, whoa, this is too large, you can't export this, and it crashes. So <laughs> I've started to learn to clean up after I'm done, basically, and delete the files after like something's been uploaded for a day, like everything's run smoothly, nothing's wrong. I go ahead and delete the footage and the video file and get rid of it basically. So that's kind of like a gist of how I edit stuff here on my iPad. Uh, like I said, those kind of videos uh, were going to be like for my Patreon videos, but here will be when I get new art supplies. I'm kind of debating on a subscription box maybe I can subscribe to. If you have any ideas, if you're, <laughs> if you're still listening to me gab on. And this fun, funky Pokemon music I have in the background, I think. <laughs> uh, let me know what subscription box you suggest I try. Because I think I've tried Art Snacks before. But that was like years ago. Back when I was like first starting this art channel. Even before I started this art channel. I had tried Art Snacks and it was like meh. And I think I tried Scrawler Box once. And I kind of liked it. Uh, but it just took so long. And the shipping just, I don't know. Oh, my cat's attacking the wall, so that's lovely. Enjoy that weird sound. Hitch! Hey! Hey, buddy! No, uh-uh. No, you have a whole scratching thing downstairs, I think, so. Anyway, um, <laughs> basically that's, uh, I, I don't know where I was going with the colors for this at first, but it was, it was everywhere. Um, slowly still kind of getting the hang of doing digital art, but I'm still also making sure I don't forget how to do traditional art, because... Whenever I do too much on my iPad, I come back to my paints and I'm just like, uh, how do my hands work? How does this, how do I transfer back to this? So, uh, I've took, taken the, um, work smarter, not harder approach to traditional lately too, especially with copy and pasting those eyes I just did. Uh, I've learned, I've learned a lot. Um, I learned about lassoing the whole drawing and just filling it with a full color just so I can color it later just so I can get my thumbnail down kind of thing. So it's been a fun learning process for me personally. Uh, doing colored line art has been a fun thing for me. It's just, yeah, it's just been kind of a, a I'm just learning, slowly learning digital art. But I'm really excited for Mermaid coming up. So you'll probably see me flip through some inspo for that. Like I said, um, I will be posting a more in-depth intro to Patreon for Sunday. I will be streaming Sunday as well, so I'll be kicking off, like, mentioning that while I'm on stream. 
Um, and then I can also ask what people might want to see for uh, stickers and stuff for our Patreon. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go fill out all of my calendars and get the get the plan going. But here's where I started to take it digitally, which I don't know when or how I'll finish this Pokemon challenge. But somewhere down the road it'll happen, maybe for June. I don't know. But Mermaid is coming, and that's what I'm excited for. So that's what will happen. Um, I will try to film some of the Ghibli paintings I'm doing tonight also for the vlog, but stay tuned for that and everything else I'm doing. Kind of just juggling a lot like a circus, but I kind of like it and I'm kind of keeping motivated with it. So stay tuned for that and the rest of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and enjoyed listening to me gab on for now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.